Hi all, I wanted to talk with you about am I a man or am I a woman? Perhaps there is a middle ground. Basically, I'm not here to judge you. It might seem as if I have done in my pre previous videos about any kind of identity issues with with being gay and things like that but all in all I don't think or believe I'm trying to judge you in any of my gay or any kind of gay videos so basically also I'm not going to be reading to you any any Bible passages about judgment because I'm not here to judge because you know you know I'm sure of of and I'm also and I'm also so I've also heard that also that people struggle with this issue of of of, of transsexual transsexuality and being being gay I know I know people struggle with this genuinely struggle struggle with this and you know we 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 know we know the pope welcomes the, the current pope welcomes the the one for 2016 pope he welcomes he welcomes people that are gay or any anyone that has gender issues whether it's to do with being gay or sexuality or any kind of anything to do with being gay, I know the Pope welcomes them with with with, with open arms, cause cause he said he embraces them. So, likewise, every single church should should embrace them. And if and if a church has an issue with with embracing gay people and respecting them, obviously you know you know people can't help it and you know what the Bible says and we know what, and I know what the Bible says but I don't wanna yeah so and like but with that like 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 I said earlier maybe the, the Pope says we should embrace embrace people people and and and, and potential church members embrace them with with this issue with this prop with this if you want to call it problem you might not accept it as a problem but if you have accepted it as a problem then fair enough but with this situation you know with you know don't don't beat yourself up about it you know the only suggestion i can make to you is to find Find your identity in Christ, in Jesus. Find where your where your place is in God. Find find where you stand in your in your heart and mind, where you're comfortable at. You know, the Pope says that we should try and abstain from it. Try and abstain. Try and try and try not to go into going to into sex with that because I've heard also once you get into it once you get into into when once you get into into intimacy it's a little bit difficult to try and resist it so like I said earlier try and find your ident identity uh, your identity in Christ in Jesus in God well well in Jesus mainly and try and find strength within that you know don't beat yourself up about it if you if you walk past somebody that's a, that's the same sex as you and you say that person looks really attractive you know embrace the attraction but try not to do anything about it if you can only if you can because you know me i i i'm completely straight but i've i've looked at a guy and think you know that person looks good looking but I don't dwell on it I don't actually fully dwell on it 
and I don't I don't really entertain it and and even if even if I did I don't like I don't like judge myself about it you know I just try to I try to move on I move on about it and I can say this to you guys and ladies and say and you could say back to me it's easier said than done but yeah I can understand what you're saying yeah it's easier said than done with but when but you can easily say but when your emotions start to override your mind and heart and and mindset and your feelings start to rush over you you know you could easily say you know how can you how can you how can you stop that you know it, what I can say is you know it's completely up to you you can you can always it's up to you if you want to seek prayer but you don't have to but if 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 you're in desperation I can only recommend you seek prayer and I have heard of and I've said this in my one my other videos that I have heard people with both parts of of male and female parts and some don't have no male or female parts and you know and there and 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 this is a good thing I mentioned from the Bible. There, the Bible speaks about the Bible speaks about eunuchs. Well, Jesus speaks about eunuchs, where where they some because it says some are eunuchs and some are not. I'm not going to pull up that scripture, but if you want me to find it, let me know. Drop it down in the message below. But I won't find it because I promised you guys that I'm not going to pull up any scriptures just in case. A scripture slips out and judges you so basically so the Bible talks about you know there are people well Jesus says there are eunuchs that are born to be eunuchs and some and some have been abused abused and become eunuchs by force and and some have have the four parts of the body and choose to be eunuchs you know because of because of yeah, they choose to be eunuchs. So, you know, like I said earlier, I'm not here to judge you, not at all. If anything, I'm here to encourage you to give you hope through Jesus, and and in, an understanding, uh, an, an enlightenment, if you like. And yeah. Just a, just a different mindset, just to give you different thinking around it, instead of instead of beating yourselves up about it. You know, even if you even if these thoughts come in your mind or feelings or whatever, you know, don't 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 try not to beat yourself up about it. Just try and move on, and yeah, and, and what I've been saying previously as well. So that's that's really all I have to say for this video so God bless take care peace be with you bye for now have a good night and day